printing problem solution in Excel. Most of the time, when you print Excel document, the wrong bits come out in wrong place and your boss frustrated with their printed reports. I am going to tell you some printing tips in Excel. After learn these tips, you can easily avoid frustrating moments in front of your boss. Work smart, not hard. Let's start. Excel's default print setting normally don't work to your advantage. Default alignment is portrait, but your data set might be wider. It will make automatic page breaks based on paper size, scale options and your margin settings. All of these settings you can change before hit printer button. How to print an Excel document? With some useful printing options. So let's say I have this report. I want to get it printed. First thing I am going to do is to take a look at in print preview. We can get there by going to your quick access toolbar and using print preview and print. If you don't have this option here, click on this drop down and add it by putting a check mark here. What it does when you click it? You go to printing options. Another way to get here is to go to file and this print option. Now immediately I notice this report is going to be printed on two pages. This is not what I want. How to fit an excel sheet to be printed on one page? I want it to fit on one page. I can make the adjustments either directly here in this view or I can go to the worksheet and make the adjustment directly there. You just have to pick the way you feel most comfortable with. So I will show you both. Here let's say I wanted to reduce the margins to save up some space. I can switch this from normal to narrow. It's still fitting on two pages. I can change the orientation directly from here and select landscape instead of portrait. This is again not something I want. To make this fit on one page, I need to go to scaling here and I can select fit sheet on one page. Excel printing options on page layout. Now let me show you the options on the page layout site. There are some useful ones there too. So let's go to page layout. This is where you are going to find the printing options. There are what we saw in backstage view. Now if you click on this arrow here, you get more options. So you have additional options available in here. For example, one option I personally use a lot in the margins 
and that's how I want my report to be centered on the page. Because by default, the report is always centered to the top left hand side. Sometimes I want it to be centered horizontally and vertically so it sits in the middle of the paper. So there are the options that you need and the margins horizontally, vertically. How to print grid line in Excel? Let's just check some more options here. By default, reports don't print grid lines. If you want grid lines to be printed, put a check mark on printing of grid lines. Adjust scale for printed sheet. If Excel sheet hard to read. The other thing I like about this view is that I can immediately see the percentage that associated with scale. Remember, when we fit this to one page, we basically made it shrink. You don't want it to shrink too much so that everyone can read it. Now how can you impact this percentage and increase it further? One way we did was to adjust the margins. But there's only so much you can do with margins. Another way is to reduce the space. So maybe you hide any row or columns that you don't need. So the more condensed your report gets, the higher the percentage is going to get. After all these adjustments, you can see now percentage is 90%. So let's just go ahead and see how this report looks. I can get to print preview from here. But let me also show you another option. Remember when we were in this view. We can also directly go to print preview or directly print from here. So now grid lines were activated. This is how the report is going to look. And it still fits on one page. Now remember how I centered this. If you click this page setup and you come to the same dialog box we saw before. Printing parts of a sheet and adding page breaks. Printing selected areas on Excel sheet. This is the type of report we are dealing with. So in the first step, let's say we are just interested to print part of this. We just want region voice sales and quantity list. One way to do this is to highlight. Highlight the area you want to print it and go to file and this print option. Change this drop down to print selection. The moment you do that, it shows you what you have selected on the Excel side. And that's what is going to print. It's one of one. So notice when I go back to active sheet, 
it's actually by default going to print this on two separate sheets. Setting Excel print area to print specific area. Now what if you always wanted to just print those two or three columns whenever someone pressed print. You don't want them to remember to highlight and then go select print selection. You just want them to be able to press print and it only print those two or three columns. The way you can set this is to go to page layout. Highlight the area that you want and then set the print area by clicking on print area and then set it. This force the print area to always only be this area. So now anytime we go to print preview, we only see what we selected. So notice this side is to print active sheets. The active sheet has only these two columns. It completely ignore anything else. So that's the advantage of setting your print area. Now how to clear this print area? Let's remove this print area from here. Clear print area. Add page break to Excel sheets. Now let's say I want to print this full document and I want to have my table in one page and the two charts on another page. How can I make Excel format this properly for me? I have some options here from scale to fit. I could say try to fit this on one page and the height should maybe two pages. I can try one page. Scale is really low which means everything is going to be super small. If I go to print preview, I don't really want it like this. I want them setting on their own pages. Table is on one page and these two charts are on another page. How do I get Excel to actually fit the page breaks to where I want? This is where you can insert your own page breaks. What I am going to do is just set this back to automatic. Let's go and insert a page break right here. Now let's go and take a look at how this is going to look until now. We don't want that scaling. So let's change that. This part look good. But this part does not look good. It's cutting through one of my charts, I want both charts to fit on one page. This is where you can directly control the page breaks. To do that, go to the view tab and click on page break preview. How Excel is planning to print. The dark blue borders are the ones that we have set. And the dashes one are the one that Excel set for us. Now this one I am not so happy about. So I am going to pull it that way because I want it to force the page break to be here. So the full chart can fit in. That's where it was cutting my chart. So it takes a little bit of adjustment to get it fit the way you want. 
Now let's go back to normal view. We can see the other page breaks have adjusted. Let's go to print preview. And we can see everything fits well. So that's how you can use page breaks to get full control over your printouts. I hope you will enjoy these printing tips so you can impress your boss. There are essential tips. Everyone should know this. Practice this lesson. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That is appreciation from your side. Like and comment. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.